Hello, welcome back. This is the second video in the series of seven videos designed to help you with stage five of your company creation project, uh, the financing a business stage. Uh, this particular tutorial is designed to, to help you with part one of this stage, uh, which corresponds to this first tab right here on your Excel file and then also corresponds to the part labeled one sales and cost of goods sold on your assignment sheet uh, that hopefully you have access to. So with this particular portion of the stage there's a few decisions that you and your team will need to make as it relates to your company. Uh, those uh, relate to uh, the sales figure of your single product or service, uh, the various costs associated with your product or service, and for this particular stage, those would be your variable cost. Those are costs that vary with the produ production uh, of your product or service. And then you'll also make some decisions as it relates to uh, the initial inventory that you will be having of your product or service. Now it's important for uh, the sake of simplicity is that we just, that you and your team rather, just choose one product or service to, to work through these financial figures with. Uh, you'll notice right here there's a space for up to three actually products or services. Uh, this is just so if you ever want to go back and use this at a later date, uh, perhaps beyond the scope of this class, uh, or you just want to investigate further, you have these extra spaces available. But again, to try to keep this as simple uh, as an exercise as possible and to really start to understand the basics, uh, we really uh, will want to just focus on a single product or service that your company offers. So first thing that you want to do is, is click on this first tab right here and go ahead and type uh, whatever the name of your product or service is or whatever you want to label it as. Uh, I'm going to start inputting information into this Excel file just so you can kind of follow along and see what I'm doing. Uh, but obviously you will want to adjust that to fit your specific company and, and you know the sales figures and costs associated with your specific company. So I'm just going to label for the sake of demonstration my product is product A. Okay, so that's the first thing that you want to type in there is whatever you're going to label your product or service as. Quantity sold. At this point, you'll want to make a decision, uh, although you've, you've probably already thought through these, these figures as it relates to previous stages in the project, uh, but you'll want to determine how much you think that you will be able to sell of your particular product, and you'll notice this is in a per month time. Uh, and this is where you'll want to work in conjunction with your the other handout, which again, I'll just show you right here, uh, where they'll ask you as part of the write-up to really justify some of your decisions, or all of your decisions rather, as it relates to this. So going back to here, you want to decide, okay, what is a realistic amount that we feel that we will be able to sell in a given month's time. And again, to, to simplify this process, as far as the monthly sales, and as you'll see is outlined on the assignment sheet, is you just want to estimate it per month. You don't need to factor in at this point if, for instance, certain months are busier than others. Uh, that's certainly something that you might address in, in your write-up or in some of the other stages, but for the purpose of this is you know, how much you know, on average in a given month do you feel will be realistic that you'll be selling of your product? And then you want to make some justifications in terms of your market size and percentage of your market share uh, you know, and things like that in terms of how you came up with this quantity. But for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm just going to type in 
an arbitrary number on, on my end of, of a thousand. But again, for you, you want to have some you know reasoning behind that number. The second um, decision that you'll need to make is the sales price per unit. So this is how much you are selling your product, or if it's a service, how much you're charging for your service for each individual instance of it. So a customer comes in, they want to buy one of your products, or they want to uh, solicit, uh, you know, one of the, this is a service that you provide. What are you charging your customer? Again, you want to have some reasoning behind this perhaps things that you've drawn from uh, your prior stage um, before you just you know, pick uh, an arbitrary number. Uh, but for the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to just say that my product has cost $5, so I'm going to type $5 in here. And you'll see there's already um, there's formulas embedded into this Excel file that calculates different uh, things for you uh, and it'll also carry over into later um, statements such as your income statement, your cash flow, your balance sheet. So you'll be able to see how everything works together. Um, so for this particular part it is calculated your revenue. Uh, it actually does a total for the year right here of, uh, of uh, looks like $60,000 for the year based on the fact that you'll be selling a thousand of these per month at five dollars uh, per product. This is before any costs um, are factored into um, your product. Then the next um, decision that you'll need to make is something called your cost per unit. Uh, or you could also uh, interpret it as your cost of goods sold. Uh, it's also classified as a variable cost. You can think of this as, as how much, uh, what is the cost of producing uh, a single product or providing uh, uh, that service. Uh, so you're selling it at, at one amount, how much does it cost you to make it? Again, you'll want some um, reasoning, you want to, to conduct some research um, and have um, you know justification backing up um, what you feel is uh, um, the, the cost that it, it is to create your product. Um, but for the purpose of this, I'm going to just say that it costs $2 uh, to make each individual product. And then it calculates the cost of goods sold uh, for uh, all of, of your thousand products, and it's simply multiplying the thousand times the two dollars per product and so your total cost of goods sold um, for the year is well, two thousand for the month and then twenty four thousand for the year. Finally you have other costs if you um, are selling a product um, and that cost is your shipping cost. Um, again you'll want to have a you know, make a decision and justify the decision about how much do you think realistically it would cost to sell each of your units. Uh, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to say that cost is a dollar. Again, this factors in, you know, what is your total shipping cost for your thousand um, products that you're selling, and then it calculates again for you for the year. So after you work through those decisions, uh, the final decision that you'll need to make as it relates to this part one of, of your stage is, is your inventory. How much inventory do you feel it, uh, it, that you need to have at the, the start of your business? And so you'll want to think through um, you know, several different things uh, as it relates to this decision perhaps maybe how fast um, or slow is it to um, create your product, you know, what sort of demand do you um, anticipate, uh, you know, what sort of, you know, how fast do the customers potentially, um, you think the customers would expect the product to um, be delivered or arrive to them, and how important is that? So right here, you're going to make a decision as to how much of this product you want to have 
ready and, and made and, and ready to, to go to your customer. Uh, I'm just going to put 100 here. Again, these are all just arbitrary numbers that I've chosen. Uh, so you want to really have uh, a real reason behind these numbers. So once you have worked through these decisions, then you can do that portion of the write-up and um, move on to the next stage, which is your expenses or your, your fixed expenses stage. And that's it for this version of the tutorial. Um, I'll tune in to video three in just a bit.